I'm going to show you how I would make the head for my avatar. I'm going to start with the shape tool and I'm going to grab the oval tool. I would just click to make a perfect circle. One of three things. I would click and drag if I was making more of an oval shaped face. And you could also, using the oval tool, hold the shift key down with one hand and then click and drag with the other. And no matter what direction you go in, you will retain the dimensions of a perfect circle. Whichever shape you choose, you are going to want it to be a bit bigger. So I'm going to enlarge this and I'm going to, I'm going to work with an oval shape today. And I do tend to make my drawings rather large initially and shrink them down later in my project. So the next thing I'm going to need are some ears. And since I'm going with the oval shape, I'm going to use an oval shaped ear as well. I'm not going to worry about the colors just yet. I'm going to make an oval ear and my other ear is going to be the same shape and size. So I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to line all these up. Um, that red line is telling me that the shape I'm holding is middle aligned with the face. So I'm going to let go because the ears actually should be in the middle of the head. So I'm just going to move that around till I get that. There I go. Now I know they're even. And I want to do a couple things. I want to change the color and I want to move the ears to the back. So I can either select both ears and move them back or I can select the head and bring it forward. Either way, you would select the items. You can either right click for the order option and bring this all the way to the front. Each layer is stacked up upon each other. If I bring it forward, it'll be in front of one ear. I would need to use the order option again and bring it forward again. I could always use the shortcut keys and on my device it would be command up arrow. Another way is to go to the arrange option on the menu bar and find the order there. And I can no longer bring it to the front or forward because it is the topmost layer. So now I'm going to click and drag across all of these and I'm going to go in and change the fill color and you need to decide if you want the border or not. But before I do that, I want to find some skin tones. So here's a chart I made. You can Google hex codes, find whatever you want, but you're going to go in here and look for something that you think matches the skin tone of your character, whether you're making yourself or a character for some other project. I'm kind of pale. I'm going to go with FAE 7D0. So how do you get there? You go to the fill color, you go to custom, and instead Instead of trying to find that perfect color, you can go up here into the hex box and type that in, FAE7D0, and it'll give you the tone you're looking for. You can also move around and look for other things if you want to once you're in there. I'll click OK, and now my fill has something close to my skin tone. And that is how you make the head and ears.